guys, Crystal Black Rifle Survival. Thanks for stopping in tonight and checking out this episode. We're gonna do uh, two envelopes here. I've got two packages that just showed up. Well, actually one this morning and the other one didn't show up before I left, so I had to wait until tonight to do the unboxing. So let's go ahead and rock and roll with these and uh, show you what two items I picked up. I actually forgot what's in the uh, this one here, the white one, so it'll be a surprise. We'll be surprised together. Anyways, let's go ahead and rip this open. And uh, I do have a channel announcement. I'll conclude that in the end of the video. And I'll let you guys know what the scoop is and uh, where I'm going with the channel. Nothing bad. It's all good news. I just want to fill you guys in on what's going on. Okay, let's get to this now. Alright guys, so I've been looking around and I wanted to find something for my Transgia style stove. It's the Alox version. I did a video on it with uh, the Espit stove for a burn test. And I found out that the pot that it comes with, or the stand, it, it doesn't hold like a 32 ounce, for example. It just sits so flush with it when you go to pick it up. It just doesn't work. So I searched around for something that was lightweight and depending on, you know, what applications I'd be using, something that could stabilize a larger pot all the way to the smallest one ever. So the answer's in here. I have a new titanium uh, pot stand that works with those Transgia uh, spirit burners. So let's go ahead and open this one up. And that's it for that package. So here it is. This thing is tiny. It's a ever new trekking system products, ultralight titanium cross stand. Uh, the rest is in Chinese or Japanese. Looks like made in Japan, my correction. So as you can see, made in Japan. There we go. So I'll provide the links below to where I found this item here. And uh, let me take it out of the package here so you guys can see it. Uh, I should probably just rip right into it. So the top came off. I don't know what it is with me in unboxings, it's always, I'm just really clumsy. But yes, uh, this is the stand, there are no instructions, obviously. Uh, basically what you do with these, they're just little stand cutouts here, you slide them together. There's a, uh, well actually you guys can see the Evernew, maybe. Sorry the lighting sucks right now, but you attach them together like so, and your Transgia, pretend my hands that, you'll just set this inside of the, st uh, the stove itself, and that way you can set your pot on top, and that'll set nice and easy. So even off-centered, it still holds. And I think, see, that's the thing, I'm going to do another review with this in the stove just to see how far down or how flush this is with the Transgia or Alux stove. I'm just real curious myself, but this is pretty dang light. Um, this will be cool because I can just stick this in with my stove kit itself. It'll fit. It's uh, compact enough. And I noticed that there's little holes here so you can put some paracord through it or a keychain if you want and keep them together. So you can hang it if you want to. So um, that's the pot stand here from Evernew. So check these out. I'll have the link below if you guys are interested. And moving on. Gonna hope open up this uh, oops package. Oops, they didn't make it to me in time before I left, so. Avid Max, find out what this is. I don't remember. Kind of surprised. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> I picked up a. At least I got a sticker with this one. That's kind of cool. I can't see it. It's a white on white. But, anyways, it says Avid Max. So, I'll just slap that on the Jeep maybe or put it somewhere. This is the Eno Ridgeline. I picked this up because it comes with some Prusik knots or Prusik. I'm 
trying to learn some different knots here. I know a couple myself, but I just figured to have a ridge line from Eno since I have the Eno hammock and the Eno tarp and the straps. Uh, well, actually, those are Atlas straps, similar to it. I wanted this for the Prusik knots, so those are already built in. Um, six Prusik knots. This is Kern Mantle rope. It's 20 feet long and it weighs one ounce, so it's very, very lightweight. And then it says, lost or tangled your ridge line. This replacement, complete with six versatile Prusik knots, is compatible with any Eno hammock, rain tarp, or can be used as a campsite accessory. So, I thought that would be pretty cool to add. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's Chris with Black Rifle Survival. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching this tonight. And uh, looking forward to making some more content later on. I have a couple more packages coming, so I'll do the unboxings for that. And as far as the gear that I've been getting in, uh, I owe you guys a video on the product itself and how it works. So, uh, gear reviews coming up, knife testing, and all the goodies. Those will be here. Camera update, and what was the other thing? Oh yeah, desert season. That's coming up too in a couple months here. So, uh, we'll be getting some scenery changes. Alright guys, Chris Black Rifle Survival. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. And uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comment box. Catch you soon.